Now, the Zimbabwean government has recruited more nurses to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. The government lifted a moratorium on employment of public servants to allow the increase in the number of healthcare workers. Here's CGTN's Farai Mokutuya with more details. This is what Cornelius Makuaza went to school for but has been unable to do because of a freeze on recruitment at public hospitals. This was due to government cuts in spending. Unemployment hasn't been easy for him. I can say tough times because, you know, we have to live by the day. So you have to survive. Uh, as, as in my case, I had to pay rent and make sure that I had fed myself. So I was selling clothes. My mother is a cross-border trader, so as she brings in some clothes from outside the country and I could sell from my mates and uh, the community that I live in to, just to make ends meet. He may have successfully paid his bills, but Cornelius had always longed to be where he professionally belonged, in the wards. That's why the call to put the scrubs back on meant so much. It was so overwhelming and uh, I was ecstatic, I have to say. And to be called at this kind of time, it really is uh, something which uh, is exciting because I have to practice what I what I'd learned in the past three years. He's among 326 nurses that have been employed by the Health Service Board, lowering the number of those still jobless to 545. And all of them need not lose hope because in the wake of COVID-19, the government has taken over the running of several provincial and district hospitals and is setting up isolation facilities across the country, all of which will require additional manpower that will be drawn from the existing database. Despite being cash-strapped, the government has raised the required funds. This uh, moratorium is only for the health sector and it's based on the availability of uh, resources that are commensurate to the packages that uh, they are entitled to. Though there are extra hands on deck, there are still gaps that need to be filled, especially the provision of drugs and personal protective equipment whose unavailability may limit how helpful the new recruits will be in their work. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.